Hello friends, welcome back. This is the continuation of my previous video tutorial. There we had created a Spring Boot JDBC project from scratch and we were trying to implement a CRUD operation, right? While running the program in last moment, we got this error and this error is explicitly saying that failed employ dog in which is we want to auto wire in a Spring Boot JDBC application and saying that uh, required a bean of type employee dog that could not be found so what went wrong which is basically we are trying to auto wire this uh, uh, bean and uh, implementation of this bean is employee dog impl that is not uh, annotated as at rate repository so we forward to uh, annotate that one so let's uh, annotate this guy as repository so what do we mean by repository? So once we annotate this class as at rate repository, that means instantiation of this class will be taken care by the Spring framework. And uh, how, if some exception is arising in this layer, then how exception is getting translated uh, for this data access layer that is also taken care by the Spring framework. Now after making this change, if I run this application, let's verify the first database. Uh, in this database, currently we have uh, only one record with ID two. And if I run this application, so saying that employee is created, that means here our bootstrap class basically implements command line runner. And that's what we have already in this run method. From run method, we are calling the local method create employee. There, we have created an employee instance, and we have uh, instance initialized this instance with uh, is uh, with uh, its properties with certain values, and we are making call to doll layer method. And doll layer method basically employed or MPL. Uh, we are passing this employee, and we have created a SQL query, which basically insert query, and we have called the update method of JDBC template that we have auto wired directly over here and we pass SQL query and corresponding input parameter these three parameters in the same order and this basically is a data into the database this returns one and that's what we are getting this output of the console if I go to the database and verify then one record is inserted uh, with ID 3 right so we have almost completed how to uh, uh, I mean, for how to uh, create an API to insert a record into database, right? Now, rest of the API is still pending, so let's complete those API as well. So now, next uh, API you have a get employee by ID. So here, basically, again we are going to use JDBC template, which we have all just auto wire in this class, and I'm going to use method query for object. So here you have a several methods, several overloaded uh, query for objects. So which one is appropriate for this requirement? So here I am going to select this guy uh, because first I need to pass the SQL query and then row mapper. Suppose your uh, doll layer method returns uh, any custom object. In that case, you will have to create a row mapper, right? And third uh, where arg which gives me opportunity to pass some input parameter as well. So before that we need to create a SQL query, I would say a string uh, get employee SQL and I would say select star from employee underscore table where employee underscore id equal to question mark right this is the query we have created and this sql query we are gonna pass it over here now second argument we have to pass new i would say employee row mapper so just i'm going to create create a row employee row mapper and here third parameter nothing but the, your input parameter right so first of all, we need to create a employee row mapper class. Uh, so let's create a class, and this class is going to implement 
something is called row mapper right row mapper and row mapper here we are going to use a generics so here i am going to pass employee this generics and uh, let's say control shift o for organize import and this guy is going to implement a method is called map row which is available in this interface now this is your rs result set and this is your row now now here i am going to create an instance of employee employee and here in result set uh, we get the result basically and those results we have to extract and set into this model class so first of all i'm going to set employee id i would say rs dot get int and here i'm going to pass the column name here you can pass the column name or column index so if you retry by column index then that is faster than by retrieving the column name but we have a few columns so we don't have much columns so we can retry by uh column name itself so there will not be any much performance issue get a string now here i'm going to pass a column as, as employee name and last and uh, not last second last we have a email so email is again kind of a string so we can fetch from the result set and we can pass it over here okay. and finally we have a salary sorry guys so employee dot set salary and i would say rs dot get double this is type of double so column name we have to pass salary and that's it and this employee has to return suppose if you don't all your returns more than one object then this callback method is going to call uh, how many the result set is going to hold by your result set right so suppose your select query returns five records then this callback method will be called at five times but in our case we are fetching the database on the id so this is going to return one record so this will be called only once now once you create then come back to the implementation class and here this guy is going to return us uh, employee object directly so directly this statement you can write inside the uh, directly you can you can write this statement in return section itself but i have split it into two line for better understanding okay so now what i'll do in employee class i'm going to overwrite two string method so right click source and here we have generate two string select all properties and now here in our bootstrap class i'm going to call a method get employee by id so this is just a i'm going to create local method private method and this is going to call our doll here to get the employee information based on the provided id so i would say get employee by id and id i'm going to specify as a three now this is going to return us employee information i would like to print the employee information and we have already overridden to string, so this will print the object of uh, state in nice format. So let's run it and see. Now see, employee state is getting printed in nice format, right? So we have completed this API as well. So that is get employee by ID. Now next we have an update. So I would say let's first prepare the SQL query. I would say update employee SQL and you have to write SQL query first and SQL query is update. So update uh, employee underscore table set email equal to question mark. So equal to question mark and you need to specify the where clause, right? So we have a two inputs first is employee email and second is the employee id now again i'm going to use jdbc template and again to update or record into database you need to use again update to create and to create a record delete a record and insert a record you always will have to use update 
So here I'm going to use this update. So which takes first parameter SQL query and second is the input parameter by R. So here input parameter will have to pass in this sequence. So first you will have to pass email while liquid in the SQL query you can see first comes email then input ID. So same order you will have to pass it over here. And this guy is going to delete records from the database. So I'm going to use this condition again. If this condition comes with one, then employ uh, I would say email is updated. Okay, so let's test this API as well. So go to the or what we can do, we can complete this API as well. One a, more API is pending, so let's copy and paste this guy and here basically. Uh, I would say delete delete employee SQL and SQL query is gonna change I would say del delete delete from employee underscore table where employee are equal to question mark and here we'll have to pass the same query and you need to pass only single parameter right single input parameter and if this comes with the one then saying that employee is deleted employee is deleted okay so we have completed almost all api but we need to test this api as well so next api i would say so we have a daw employee daw so directly we can call update so id i'm going to specify two uh, let's say three which record we have inserted same we want to update so here current email address of kisan is kisan cs2006 so i want to update his email address i want to see 2011 so let's see how it works now let's run this program now say that employee email is updated go and verify so current email address is cs2006 now cs2011 so this is updated now last but not the least we have a delete employee based, based on the provided id so let's test that as well so i would say delete employee by id we are passing id as 3 so employee with id 3 kitchen is present so let's run it and see how it works saying that employee is deleted so complete now if you refresh then employee with id is 3 is deleted so in that way we have completed how to perform the crud operation using a spring boot jdbc so guys here uh, we have a lot of benefit when you use a spring boot right instead of a spring jdbc so most of the things we get the auto configure on the top of that if you want to configure jdbc explicitly then of course you can do using java configuration right so thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to put on the github and github location you'll get in the video description itself so see you in the next video tutorial